just wanted to make a quick video to share what apps I like to use on the Mac. They're actually included with Parallels. I was pretty surprised by this. This video is not sponsored by Parallels, but there is a link if you want to try Parallels for free. Down below, it's an affiliate link. Now, Parallels, if you don't know this, it allows you to run Windows or Linux on a Mac. I use that to run Windows on my Apple Silicon machine and also Linux. So here is a toolbox that actually comes when you install Parallels. You get this toolbox, which <laughs> I got Parallels because I wanted to use Parallels, but you get all these tools for free free with it, which I thought was like to buy each one of these would be like $10 here, $10 there. And it was all included. I didn't even know that I had a CPU temperature widget on there until recently. So I, I bought TG Pro, which is a separate program you can get. It has a lot more details like the GPU temperature, uh, TG Pro link down below too, by the way. But if you just want to have an overview, you have that included with parallels, which is pretty cool. Um, download video. So if you want to download a video from YouTube, for example, you use this app. All you got to do is just go to YouTube, click on the URL or copy it paste it in here and it's automatically downloading the video for you. It probably works for Vimeo too. Capture area. What's cool about this one versus the one that comes out of the box on a Mac is that it zooms in really nicely. You can really get that crisp edge in there and get exactly what you want. There we go. I got a screenshot. You can record an area. So if you want to record a video of a part of a screen, you can do that or record the whole screen. I use this all the time when I create video courses. In fact, I have that saved down here in my toolbox, in my toolbar, because I should probably say doc, otherwise people are gonna yell at me in the comments. It's a doc, okay? I have it in my doc because I use it so often. Free memory is an interesting one. So it shows you how much available memory I have now. And let's say I wanna clean things up a little bit. I just click on free memory and this will search out any kind of memory and purge it that's not being used right now. There, I got 10 gigabytes of memory back for me. There we go timer if I need a timer for something. I usually use a timer on my phone though. So that's I've used it a couple of times and not super useful. Convert video is a good one. You can convert between different formats of video. You can screenshot a page. So it's a web page and it's long. How do you get a screenshot of the whole page? Well, this allows you to just screenshot the page and it automatically stitches them together and creates an image. Window manager. I have this up all the time. Basically, it allows you to drag the window to different areas hot areas of the screen and snap to those locations. Windows has this built in, but believe it or not, Mac does not. So you got to buy apps to do this for you. And yeah, there's apps out there that you got to pay for and that'll do this for you. But this comes with parallels. Pretty cool. Presentation mode. See, I have a mess on my desk. It's not that messy right now. It does get messier. But if I enter presentation mode, cleans everything right up. Uninstalling apps. So if you want to completely remove an app, some apps leave quite a lot of gunk behind. This will do that for you. Now, those are just the apps that I use. There's also a library tab here of all the different things you can install. So look at this. Airplane mode, alarm, archive, barcode generator. I'm not gonna read all of them because that's just too many. Clean drive, clipboard history, do not disturb, do not sleep. There's an app called Amphetamine, I believe that uh, handles that as well. That's a free app, but this is included here. Download audio, huh, I haven't used that one before, but that could be useful. Eject volumes, oh, that is cool because I work with SSDs all the time. So this will just probably eject all of them at the same time. Encrypt files, energy saver, find duplicates. Interesting. Hide desktop files, make a GIF. You can create animated GIFs right here. Record audio for nice little quick uh, voice memos. That would be useful. Resize images. How handy is that? You can convert images too. Take photo, take video, unarchive, transform text. Not sure what that is. Unit converter currency and units. Okay. And world time. So there's a ton of stuff in here that just included for free. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I use them all the time. I have this toolbox up all the time. So that comes with parallels and it was a complete surprise to me. Now you can probably find apps that do all these things, individual apps that do them. But if you are getting parallels, and if you're thinking about getting parallels, then this already comes with it. So don't buy those other apps if you're thinking about getting parallels. That's all. Anyway, just a quick one today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.